Hello guys and welcome to our unboxing and first impressions of Absolo Aventus by Creed. This is a follow-up flanker of the original Creed Aventus. This fragrance was released uh, late this year, 2023. And now we, we are going to discuss uh, its scent, uh, presentation, its differences from the original Aventus and the comparisons that it gets to Sauvage Elixir if it is warranted or not and of course the most important question if it is worth buying first we will check out its presentation so guys let us start unboxing this one so first we have at the front uh, the quantity of the bottle is uh, 75 ml or 2.5 fluid ounces that's the same striations as the original Aventus at the sides we have a Creed uh, seal which I broke because I was so excited to have this uh, the price is 22,400 pesos and uh, I bought it in Rustans Makati so we have here on the sides more information regarding the uh, Philippine distributor so it has a nice sturdy box at the bottom uh, we can see here some regulations the ingredients barcode and especially the batch code which is for aventus fans is very important so now we'll get to open it up slowly now oh you see it's very beautiful the bottle guys is uh, it may look simple at first but when you hold it in your hand you can feel its weight you can uh, definitely it's a nice nice looking bottle uh, the markings are laser etched if i'm not mistaken we have here some information again at the bottom and this one is looks like it will not fade uh, in time uh, compared to a paper label at the back there is nothing there so at the sides also nothing and of course at the top uh, it has the creed creed logo or crest now let's remove the cup it's a bit tight uh, you see it's the same uh, metal cup that can be found in recent batches of aventus it has nothing on the inside let's put it back here it has a nice satisfying click so guys so, uh, first we will test it out on the strip and uh, see how it goes This cup is very, very tight. Let's make some few sprays. Okay, not yet. One more time. There we go. For good measure. Ooh. Let's smell this one. Ooh. Wow. This smells so good guys. Off the off of the test strip, it smells really good. Let's try it on skin. See? It's very oily. Woo! It's very powerful when you smell it up close in your skin. Yeah, it's definitely very fruity, sweet, uh, with a hint, uh, not with a hint, but I can smell some spices in it. I don't know which one, but it comes off as a more spicy, more dark version of the original Aventus. Uh, the, pure, the one thing that uh, Creed uh, made here from from the original is that they replace the pineapple with grapefruit however when I smell it in my skin there is a sweetness that is reminiscent for me of a sweet fruit like a pineapple <laughs> so the more I smell it the more it reminds me of the original 
actually there is not not much of a difference with this one and the original but I can say that this is this sits closer to the skin not as effervescent as the original one it doesn't spread as much uh, it stays very close the projection of this one is probably uh, slightly below average uh, maybe one to two feet but it will definitely linger on the air so it will have a nice sillage around you when you walk by so the people will smell you and know that you have uh, passed by or been there when you are wearing the Absolute Aventus so as you can see guys it's very oily it's I, I don't know uh, let me check the concentration of this one so it doesn't have the information at the bottom maybe here so there is no mention here if it is an old ah here it is still an eau de parfum guys so same concentration with the original one but it's definitely more oily in my skin so we will compare it to the original one so let me grab the bottle and spray it here it's good. So definitely the original one is less sweet than the Absolute Aventus, also more citrusy, this one is a more fruity and sweet, more tamed, let's end a more darker version of the original one. The original is a bit bright. That definitely brighter than the Absolute Aventus and I can get a nice a nice projection out of this one so comparing them side by side on my skin the Absolute Aventus definitely smells more sweet and more fruity than the original one it sits more closer to the skin However, I actually like the scent profile of the Absolute Aventus more than the original one. This, uh, but remember guys, this is just a first impression. I have not yet uh, had a full wear of this one. Maybe in the coming days, I will try it out. See you guys. So the common... Uh, the common comparison or the common fragrance being compared to Absolute Aventus is uh, Dior Sauvage Elixir which I do not get at all when I smell this so but just to be sure I have here my bottle of Elixir and let us compare it also let's go here Nah, they're they're different. I don't, I can't, I can't really relate the two fragrance. Uh, Dior Sauvage is more spicy, more warm, more sweet. It doesn't have the freshness that the Absolute Aventus DNA have, or the scent rather. And it's, whew, and Dior Elixir really is more powerful than this Absolute Aventus. Actually, the Sauvage Elixir is overpowering both of the Aventuses, uh, which is not a surprise because uh, this Sauvage Elixir is known for its beastly performance. 
the similarity that I can say uh, when it comes to Absoloventus and Sobachilixia is their presentation. So they come in this uh, cardboard box which is a pull-up type of box. So you open it like this. So they're similar that way. Also the color of the bottle. They are almost similar. As you can see, they are both midnight uh, blue, which is almost black. The font also is uh, almost the same in silver. The type here, as you can see, the similarities are pretty clear. And when you see inside the box, uh, you can see they are both of, made of the same materials. And also both have the same type of foam inside to protect the, the bottle when it's being transported. So they have a foam and have a cut out that is fit for their cups. So if I can say uh, the presentation or the maker, the manufacturer of their bottle and the cardboard box, I could say is pretty much the same company. So as I've said earlier, uh, I could see myself wearing this fragrance pretty much anytime, anywhere. But for the extreme heat during the Philippine summer, it can be worn also but I would rather prefer the original or go something a little more light like the Aventus cologne. Because uh, although this will not be cloying in the high heat, but something a little bit more fresh, more light, would be appropriate for that setting. So this uh, new release from Creed has received some criticism from the fragrance community, uh, basically due to its uh, high price tag. It is uh, priced uh, for, for around 545 US dollars, if I'm not mistaken, SRP in the US market for a 75 ml bottle so in the Philippines we can get it uh, far cheaper uh, around 400 US dollars when converted to Philippine peso so it's definitely worth buying here locally than uh, ordering it from abroad or overseas although in the European market it's around the cost will be the same because you have to factor in uh, uh, the fees the shipping costs and etc so most likely it will be around the same value as the srp here in the philippines plus you can have it uh, you can have a more flexible mode of payments when you are availing it here in the philippines So the question remaining is whether Absolu Aventus is worth it or worth purchasing is not as uh, simple and straightforward as it seems. If you are a fan of the original Aventus and have a collection, a large collection, or you consider yourself as a collector of uh, Creed fragrances, especially the Aventus line, I know some people who have pens or tens uh, stuff that. If you have uh, a collection of Creed Aventus, uh, personally I know some people who have tens or even more than 10 bottles of uh, Creed Aventus with different batches. So if you are that kind of uh, perfume collector, then I would say Absolute Aventus is a must buy, especially that it is considered or it has been uh, uh, said by Creed that this will be a limited run only but I don't know if it will be really limited because I can see that it is very widespread so I don't know what limited means limited maybe to around 5,000 bottles or 10,000 bottles I don't know or it is a limited run for one year or six months I don't know but in the website it mentions that it, this will be limited so if you are a Aventus collector or a Creed Avid fan then I would say Absolute Aventus 
is worth getting. On the flip side, also, if you are just a casual fragrance guy who just wants to smell good and not is not too deep into collecting, uh, I would say that this one is not um, a must buy. No, uh, you can definitely skip this one, especially with the high high price tag. You can buy multiple bottles of uh, high quality fragrances from, let's say, Dior or Chanel or other perfume houses, even niche brands. With the price of this one, I'm sure you can get uh, at least two bottles of uh, high quality fragrances or even more if you know where to find or where to look for the, those fragrances. Because this price tag is really, really 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 high for the quantity for the amount of juice you're getting 75 ml so guys it's all up to you if what type of uh, what type of fragrance collect or what stage in your fragrance collecting journey you are in for me i am i'm a fan i'm a fan of uh, Creed Aventus. it is my first niche uh, fragrance it is one that has a special place in my heart in my fragrance collecting journey way back in 2019 uh, i received my bottle of uh, creed aventus although it is only a 30 ml decan it is actually the second fragrance that i own uh, it was a decan from a fellow frog head which has won a, won a 250ml flacon and he decided to split it so I was very intrigued by the Creed Aventus so 2019 was the let's say was the height was the height of the Aventus hype everyone was talking about Aventus Aventus and also it was dubbed as the king of fragrances uh, and I'm not uh, I'm not ashamed to admit that uh, Jeremy Fragrance was the one who pointed me out to this uh, Creed Aventus because he was constantly bringing this fragrance up during his his earlier days or her, his earlier years in uh, fragrance in his fragrance uh, channel he is always mentioning Creed Aventus as the king of the frag men's fragrances so it got me really interested in the Creed Aventus line and fortunately i was able to secure the 30 ml bottle so that's why uh, i had to purchase this absolu aventus so that's it guys for uh, the, our unboxing and uh, first impression of absolu aventus i know i have uh, more to learn when it comes to reviewing fragrances or discussing the scents uh, if you have some comments or suggestions or, of how I, I can improve, uh, I would like to, I would like you to share it with me in the comment section. And of course, uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a great holiday season ahead. Thank you. Bye bye.